as the artistic director of the Creative Jazz Institute. TIT supports the important collaboration between Philadelphia University of the Arts and the City, Kimmel Center, which literally paves the way for a summer program for young musicians. Hodge is perhaps best known as a jazz melting pot bassist named Robert Glasper Experiment. He has toured and recorded with musicians more connected to the world of street hata, such as trumpeter Terence Blanchard, a frequent employee of Spike Lee and coached Hodge in film production. Yes, Eric Hodge is in the spotlight, with Naz at the helm in the 96 seater National Symphony Orchestra at the Kennedy Center in 2014. Celebrate the 20th anniversary of Nomadic, an album that has inspired exaggerated and passionate debates in hip hop circles like no other. The crossroads of jazz, pop, hip hop, and RB. This is the third of three articles, with some of Philadelphia's greatest bass guitars. A bassist on an international tour, he shared the stage with jazz artists such as DJ Air and Robbie Coltrane, and worked with viola saxophonist Steve Coleman as part of his five elements. Born in London and transplanted into the heart of the Philadelphia stage, he has made numerous contributions as instrumentalist, producer, teacher, and curator of some of the city's most innovative jazz programs, the second part of Philadelphia. Best of the bass features some of the most influential Philadelphia jazz, rock, funk, and fusion bass guitars. There are three Grammys, Symphony Orchestra performances, Wesley Sessions, and, of course, Nibai will spend an NPR jazz night in America. His father, bassist Lee Smith, has worked with Philly soul stars Danny Golson, Popo Dino, and the Treaty Pitchfork and Icon. When Fender compiled a list of 11 best hip-hop Fender moments, Philadelphia bassists were responsible for two of them. This last part of the series shows artists at the forefront of jazz, pop, hip-hop, and R.B. The first was Hub's work The Next Movement by Things Fall Apart, and the second was a performance by an orchestra of 96 people to celebrate the 20th anniversary of now Silmatic, he also has a classical education, with equal electrical and acoustic abilities, and is a blue note artist with three albums of his credits as a leader of his name, the latest of which is 2020 Color Noise. Some of these young people will soon finish the sit in series, an improvisational session that Tid is organizing at the Kimmel Center for new and emerging artists. Hubbard, better known as Hub, was a bassist for The Roots from 1992 to 2007. He left the team after being diagnosed with cancer.